Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Talk Japan, the show we talk about all things Japan in English. My name is Mitch, I'm here with... Ricky. Hey Ricky, what's up? Hey, we're, f- we're going to figure out the news today. No, no, I, 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 I... Dude, before we get to the news, <gasps> yesterday I was watching while doing stuff, because I, I, I basically, my whole life is while doing something. Yeah, that's pretty company. good. Hey, cheers. We got um, coffee. Mm. Thanks for the coffee soldier. Coffee? It's called coffee soldier, because if you've ever seen the way that coffee grows out of the ground, it looks like a little... Soldier hat from World War II. Very cute. Intro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you watched this show, right? Recently? That I, I recommend it to you, but you're like, ah, psh, no, that's no. BS. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. I'm not talking about that. Yesterday, oh. I was cooking food. I mean, I was microwaving food that I had cooked before. So I cooked it. That's cooking. Okay. So speaking of Star Trek, <laughs> I was watching this. It just it got uploaded like a couple weeks ago. It's like a it's like a two hour retrospective on like Star Trek Voyager, which if you've never seen Star Trek Voyager, it's basically like like they tried to make Janeway the captain like incredibly like manly, and so the entire show is just her going like let's blow that shit up, fuck those people, and then she has like a weird obsession with coffee. It's true. She doesn't drink. None of that tea bullshit, like you know, Picard. Hey, she don't talk dr- shit she about drinks the, she drinks the real stuff like a man. I'm not. I'm not gonna Coffee lie. Black. I'm not gonna lie. When I was recalling, <laughs> when I was recalling uh, Picard season three to Ricky about a year ago when it when it air, aired, uh, season one and season two do not exist, but season three was creme de la creme. I got fucking emotional when I was like explaining like the 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 last episode because it was like it was like the showrunner was like. I'm a fan of the show. I grew up with the next generation. I'm going to give all y'all what I want. And I was just like, yes. But anyway, we're not talking about that. We're talking about Voyage right now. So this guy, Neelix. Worst character. Worst character. I hate this guy. Well, Tuvix was the worst character. Actually, I, w- I wouldn't have <laughs> that guy got Tuvix. fucking murdered. <laughs> he got he got He's Janeway. Like, Please no, <laughs> this is what, dude. Janeway is a fucking. They had to make her manly, so they're like, "Well, I'm murdering you. I need my Tuvok back." Anyway, so guys, so <laughs> according to according to the 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 retrospective that I watched yesterday, Neelix is a cross between. Uh... <laughs> Timon and Pumbaa. Wait, wait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, uh, I mean, I I uh, I definitely see it, uh, uh, and I was just like, "Yep, that's definitely the '90s." I remember it was like 1993. Let's check the let's check the date on this. Lion King. Let's see. I think it was 1993. Let's see. 94. 94. It was 1994. So I was 11 years old. I took the bus because that's what we did back in the day to get around. I took the bus, the cat bus, the Citizens Area Transit cat bus. Interesting. Down to Red Rock Theater on Cheyenne, Charleston. Charleston. I forgot Vegas streets. It's been a long time since I lived there. Charleston Avenue. And uh, there's this, this place called the Red Rock Theater. And I went to go see The Lion King. By myself, matinee. So it was like, I think, $2.50 or maybe $3. Wow. You can get like a hey, popcorn hey, and a soda. Hey, shut up. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to go see it as a matinee and I remember just the opening sequence where it's like the circle of life, whatever. And it's got, you know, like Rafiki and he holds up Simba. That's not what captivated me. What captivated me was when the title card hits the screen, Lion King in red letters, it hits the base. It goes, Dum! and this is like one of the very first movies to ever do that. This is when were you born? 92. So, <laughs> so when the title card hits, it goes like, Zach, oh, blah, and then it goes Lion King. Bah, and fucking like, okay, now we all have like, pla- like, you know, I have an OLED 65 inch, like with a subwoofer and surround sound and all that other shit. Back in the nineties, no one had that shit. We watched the, our world was like a CRT television screen that was like maybe 30 inches or 32 inches and we're not talking 32 inches 169 we're talking four by three 32 inches so it's like this big Mm -mm. you know when you measure your dick from the bottom versus the top that's what we're talking about in terms of difference (laughs) okay you don't go from the foot (laughs) no (laughs) dude i got asked this question the other day like this guy was like hey mitch is your dick this long and i was like where are we measuring from (laughs) i just 
<laughs> and then and he's like from here and i was just like guys if you're if you're at home and you're listening and you have a penis listen to my advice if anybody especially publicly especially in japan if they ask you how big your dick is always tell them it's about this big the smaller you tell people your dick is this is a news show by the way we'll get to the news the smaller you tell people your dick is the bigger they think it is Tell them you're surprised you even had one. You're like, oh, I have, I have one? a dick. <laughs> I thought it. I thought I just peeped from my butthole. <laughs> I used to think girls did that because I was confused. Really? Oh, yeah, well, I mean, I was, that was also the '90s. So, <laughs> I think it was back in the '80s. <laughs> anyway, um, common misconception. So, why are we talking about the liking? Yeah. So, so it was like so so big screen and a speaker system with like woofers, right? So like the bass just fucking hit. And it's like one of the first movies that I ever saw by myself, especially. And I was just like, oh. I went to see The Lion King, I think 10 times in the theater. I saw that movie so many times in the theater. I love that movie. It's a good movie. The reason why I would go to the movies, I, I went to go see like Jurassic Park and all the fucking movies. The reason why I did this is because I did not have a childhood because my mother decided to have a bunch of kids and my father decided to die of cancer. Well, I guess he didn't decide to do that, but it, it happened. <laughs> and so she was like, Mitch, you watch the kids and I'm going to go to work. Goodbye. So like the only time that I could play was during summer and during so Lion King came out in July. And so it was during summer and it was between the hours of like noon and like 4 p.m. because my mom was home from her first job and then it didn't go to her second job. So it's like this little in-between time where I could like hang out by myself. So I'd go to I'd go to Red Rock Theater for the matinee. For like the, the matinee. Like like one of the senior citizens. With with no one else, because there's no one else in the theater. And that's the only thing I could do. Let's talk about the news. Cause uh by the way, if um guys, we have a link to our Patreon. Uh, account which is changing it's it's not changing for them it's changing for us and it was confusing to me it has to do with like apple the app store getting angry at patron okay they're like we're gonna take 30 percent of your revenue from now on for oh. new customer for new patrons huh and they're like you have to agree to this and i was like whatever <laughs> all right <laughs> thank you apple? apple you know it's not like they have enough money i should email tim cook again <laughs> Probably get a reply. I just hit my teeth with the microphone. Uh, so, um, <clears throat> uh, so, so, if you want to be our patron, we're going to have some very nasty talk in our private. Pa- I forgot to give our patrons a September video. It, I have it. I just didn't link it to them. Oh, because I forgot about it. Probably oh. alcohol was involved. So, so for October, we're going to give them two videos. No, no, two. three videos. What? Three. 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 Wow. To apologize, because I'm sorry. Like I realized that today. I was like, oh shit, I forgot. It's uploaded. It's on YouTube. It's a pr- unlisted link. I just didn't link it to them because I'm an idiot. I was just like, oh, so we're going to make up for it and give them three. And today's video, raunchy. It's going to be very raunchy. There could be tongue involved. Maybe hand holding. No. No. Tokyo Tower targets high end foreign tourists with new luxury tour. Wait, wait, Ricky. Ricky. What? High end. Somebody's getting saved. I was going to say, how do you say ohoraretteru? It's like somebody's getting angry. Ang- no, no. Hmm? The police are angry at someone is how you would say that in English. Hmm. <clears throat> anyway, if I say high-end luxury tour. Okay. Okay. How much money are we? do you think we're talking here? High-end high end luxury tour. I'm going to say, I'm going to go like $50,000. You're off by a magnitude of a thousand. <laughs> Five thousand? <clears throat> the Tokyo Diamond Tour, priced at $50 per adult, will be held seven times a day from Saturday, which uh, with each session capped at 10 per- participants. Well, that's disappointing. 50 bucks? Uh, the site on which the, it stands, uh, blah, 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 blah uh, members only restaurant, they'll go to a members only restaurant known as Kyo, Ki, Kyo, Koyokan. I cannot read Japanese and English. Romaji, I, I suck at this. Koyokan, which hosted famous figures from Japan and abroad. I don't know. It's this thing. Whatever this thing is. Uh, cool. Whatever. Uh, in honor of the history special lounge, sir, blah, blah, blah. Performers will be stationed at various points for the tour to add entertainment value while participants can enjoy. Whatever. It's stupid. It's fifty dollars. What is this place? It's a famous place for. It goes around a little bit, a couple places in Tokyo, and it goes to a famous like lounge where there's a performer. Oh, 
it's I don't know. There's a lot, not a lot of performers will be stationed at various points around the tour to add entertainment value. While per- participants can enjoy views from both the main 150 meter high obser- uh, observation deck and the higher air deck at 250 meters. The tour includes private elevator use, which means no waiting times. It goes to Tokyo Tower. Wow, that's kind of cool. You don't have to wait for the elevator. And we know how painful it is to wait for elevators. Oh, dude, guys. Uh, no. <laughs> Can you memo that? Write that down. It's going to be a, a patron video. Elevator memo. Yeah, elevator memo. P- write that down. It's, it's part of the patron video. If I can unlock my phone. Dude, I made a mistake yesterday. We'll talk about the patrons. Uh, Japan to- toy maker unveils world's smallest Rubik's Cube. A Japanese toy company unveiled Thursday that the world's smallest Rubik's Cube with a fully functional six-sided puzzle so tiny it can hide under a fingertip. Using advanced metal processing technology, Mega House Corp completely wasted their talents. Uh, this is <laughs> created a mini cube smaller than one-tenth of the size of a standard model with the length of each face only measuring about five millimeters and each square about 1.6 mil- millimeters. And if you're an American and you don't know what that means, go fuck yourself. Wow. Well, uh, what they made that Rubik's Cube for ants. That's cool. It's a uh, 0.3 gram. Z. I don't know what a gram is, but that's small. Look, it's next to Ichien. This is Ichien. You know what wow. I do when I find Ichien in my house, like just random places? I throw them away. Like in the garbage? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I mean, whenever I find them, because like sometimes like they'll just be random places. Like, you know, like I, maybe I have them in my pocket. They fall out or whatever. I just throw them away. Like Ichien is so worthless to me. I just like, just I don't want them. Put, put them in a box. See what happens. It'll be ETN in a box. Nothing will happen, dude. At some point, maybe 100 years down the line, you'll have like a dollar. So I'm just going to keep throwing them away. (laughs) Okay, so we have this uh, next story. So the Kyoto Prefectural Police Chief investigated for suspicion of power harassment after threatening subordinate with, I will kill you. That sounds part of course. So this is the dude. This is the guy right here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I figured out how to do this yesterday. Wait, 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 wait. No, uh, like a phone. No. Oh, Ooh. oh, we got it, guys. I'm macking. Look at me. I'm appling so hard. Wow. But look, it's it's actually a zoom up on the screen. See how like the whole UI is fucking huge. Sweet. Okay. Anyway, this guy right here. That guy threatened to kill his subordinate. So here we go. So interviews with uh, persons concerned have uh, revealed that that dude, I'm not going to name his name. I don't know why they always say his, his their age. He's 56. It's important. Chief of the Kyoto Prefectural Police is suspected of saying things like, I'm going to kill you to a subordinate uh, officer while on duty. It is believed that, th- that, his, that this con- constitutes power harassment. Um, on the most basic level, yes. <laughs> the top comment on this is another insecure, ineffective tosser on a power trip. What does tosser mean? I don't, I don't, Australia, T-O-S-S-E-R, meaning. Let's find out. A wanker. A person or thing that tosses someone. That's a pro wrestler. <clears throat> uh, it means to masturbate in British slang. It is, and in Aussie slang, it's a person who masturbates. Yeah. We're not getting closer to the truth on this one, dude. I mean, it, it makes it, make, it makes sense, you know, just someone that's like, you know, jacking it for, I'm thinking he's this hot shit. Is he, is he, oh dude, my Captain America shield came say in the mail. It's metal. Like actually, it's like, is it magnetic metal? I don't know. I haven't tried yet, huh. but it's metal. I, I, I think I'm going to get arrested when we go to Fukuoka because I'm going to have like more near. Is that what it's called? Mjolnir. 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 Whatever. Mio. Mio. I'm gonna have that and a shield, and I'm gonna be wearing like a Zenshin Taitsu with my dick showing, not showing, but showing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so, so I'm just gonna get there's, there's, there's gonna be an outline. There's not gonna be like the actual, you know, genitalia out. I'm just gonna get arrested. I, I, I'm not gonna do anything wrong, but it's just like when I, if I don't, if I get disappeared in Fukuoka, I'd be like, I'm just gonna killed. film it. Please, and put it on the show. Yeah. Patrons for the patrons. For the patrons. <laughs> <laughs> we can just blur it for like everybody else you know, as, it, as it's happening. Can you do it like? Uh, wait, wait. Let's go back. Can you do it like? Uh, shit. What was the Borak? 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 Borat? Borat? Can you do it like Borat, where they like put a giant black bar, even though his dick is obviously not that big? Just put it across the screen. It's like it's, it's dragging. <laughs> can you animate it? <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, sorry, this is no joking about it. DJ Madu, who was arrested on suspicion of assault, said, I hit her until her face was swollen and the many problems he had after leaving. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, okay, so guys, so here's these two. So DJ Madu is this dude, and this is his idol girlfriend. Um, This is on Twitter. The audio recording that she recorded, him being abusive with her, is the full audio is on Twitter. I implore you to not listen to it because it's very disturbing. I listened to it yesterday. I was just like, one, fuck this guy. Two, ladies or help, boys, twinks, my friends out there. If you're in an abusive re- re- uh, relationship with anybody, Get the fuck out of that relationship. If somebody is being abusive or controlling to you, you deserve to not be in that situation. No matter who you are, it doesn't matter. If you have no self-esteem, every person is valuable and you should get out of that situation. You can come stay at my place if you need to. I'm far away, but you can still I have a big sofa. I'm serious. I'm, I'm kidding about the sofa thing, but... I do have a big sofa. I'm not kidding about that. We tested my sofa at Ikea. 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 Yep. I have. I have we hung over and tested my sofa before I bought it. I have also stayed at that sofa for at least a week. So. Yeah. Good sofa. And you almost fucked a Russian girl on my sofa. What? Anyway, if you're in an abusive relationship, get the fuck out of that. Um, there's always somebody that will help you. Uh, if you're not in Kagoshima, Japan, find someone else to help you because I'm far away. But trust me, you don't deserve to be in that situation. You you deserve better. Everyone, every human. Here's the thing: <clears throat> if you don't value yourself, think about this. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you one little nugget of 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 like wisdom. If you gave me ten billion dollars in a thousand years, I could not make a human like you. Think about that. I could not manufacture someone like you. So no matter how flawed you are. No matter how many problems you have, a billion dollars in a thousand years could not make you. That's how special you are. Remember that. Think about that. Yeah. I could not manufacture even the shittiest human. So value yourself. Please. Big do, hug. We, do we want to talk about the, the, the prime minister? So there's a new prime minister and nobody gives a fuck about him because he's a copy of the old prime minister. But, oh... <laughs> They Shingo. literally split flip letters. Shingo. Shingo. Oh, we get a friend. So there's a bar that we like to go to. And he like toasted to the prime minister. And like he said some shit. And I have no idea what he said. Do you know what he said? No one knows what yeah, he, he said. Yeah, he said like, like from now on, please take care of our country. For the future of Japan. He said that kind of. He said that. Yeah, kind of. But it was like blah, blah, blah. not very well articulated. Anyway, we have a new prime minister. And it's from Kishida to Ishiba. Ishiba. I swear. It, it just like. Put a mask us. over the guy. Just like put the, those glasses with the funny stash. You know, and that's it. <clears throat> you know when you play a video game and like you go to like from one town to the next town and there's the obvious quest giver NPC and he's just slightly different from the one in the previous town. Yeah, and you're like sus- you're sus of him. You're like, <laughs> all right, you're the, you're the same, right? That's what happened. We had a new quest giver and he's basically like 99 percent the last one. Yeah, and apparently his wife is more popular than him. That's that's the article. It's but the reason why so Japan's new first lady uh, hometown favorite more popular than husband it says this but I want to refer to the Reddit comments on this <clears throat> it says this is from Glagire Glagire Reddit usernames are the best especially when they read them on the news because they'll be like and chiming in from Reddit I rape cats says blah 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 it's just like. <laughs> Don't read caps. Uh, cats. Uh, kind, so here's the comment. Kind of a weird puff piece. It points out that the new prime minister was the prod- protege of a famously corrupt former prime minister and his wife worked for a company that was embroiled in high level corruption. And it says that it, it says in a isn't that cute manner. Not sure if it's high level trolling or shitty journalism. Japan's track record su- suggests the latter. Hmm. I'm hoping it's high level trolling. They're not that smart. Let's go to more fun news. So in Miyazaki, this happened. Wow. So in case you're wondering what the fuck that was. Someone had a bad day in the toilet. 
from the ground. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. That, that's a really bad day. What do they eat? Um, <clears throat> in case you're wondering, uh, so Miyazaki, uh, their airfield at their airport used to be controlled by the Americans. And America, uh, not to be bested by anyone. I mean, Israel is trying right now. They're trying their very best, but no one, no one is better at bombing people than America. Distributing freedoms. To everybody mm-hmm. around the world. America. Fuck yeah. So this was an unexploded ordinance is what they keep saying, which is the weirdest thing. Is it, they, Instead of just saying it was a bomb, they're like, this was an unexploded ordinance. I'm like, ordinance. What does that mean? It's a bomb. Equipment. What does ordinance mean, actually? Exactly. It's a it, bomb. <laughs> so anyway, it was a bomb that was under the ground and it, it blew up. And the thing is, actually, do they have the before this footage? There was actually a plane taxiing down the runway right before this happened. Oh, they don't have it. Oh, so I, I had initially thought that it was because the plane was passing over that it caused it to explode, but it just randomly exploded. Yeah, it just randomly exploded, which is weird because we had like that huge earthquake like a, a couple days ago, a week ago, a month ago. It all bled together yes. like a month ago. And... Remember the how? Yeah, I know how. How convenient it would be? How convenient would be if like the earthquake just like you know set off all the unexploded ordnance? Yeah, that'd be fun. So in Europe, because the Nazis. By the way, whenever I dictate to Siri or to Google, dictate. whenever I say dictate, whenever I say Nazi, it <laughs> it always inscribes it as Nazi. Nazi. Yeah. Siri doesn't know better. Honestly, they're not wrong. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't think not not ski has ever committed genocide. I don't think so. Probably not. She is busy a lot though. Yeah. What does she do on her free time? <laughs> uh, so anyway, so uh, in in Europe, they they regularly find bombs, unexploded bombs, like around because the 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 blitzkrieg just like fu- and well, the, everybody everybody bombed each other. And so like they'll every now and then they'll be like renovating a house and they'll find a bomb actually drop between two walls and it's just sitting there unexploded for like decades. How scary is that? You could be sleeping like 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 sleeping next peacefully or having sex next to a bomb that has not exploded yet. Oh my god, have the bomb that sex was the bomb. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you so much sometimes. <laughs> Dude, Linus tech tips. That Linus is currently like do, did you see watch that episode? He's like doing dad jokes now. I hate him because of that. I haven't watched it yet, but it's great. Puns, dad jokes. I almost wore my dad joke champion shirt. Uh, NHK Radio is in hot water because the Chinese staffer like got on air and started talking about, okay, let's go down. Let's go down the list. Okay. What do you know of Japanese war crimes during World War II? Uh, let's go. This, wait, can we? Okay, well, whatever. There's the Korean ladies, right? The Korean comfort women. Com- what? I don't understand the word comfort women. Like, that sounds like innocuous, but it's like r- raped women. Basically. Why don't they just say raped women? Enslaved. Enslaved. Raped. Yeah. And then there was um, Nanking. Nanking? Was Nanking. It? Yeah. The massacre. There was... There was that also that specialized research unit. What was it called? I'm trying to remember the number. It's a number, right? Yes. Uh, unit uh, 731. Uh, I was going to be like 137. Seven, three. You, do you know what they did? They did a whole lot of bad stuff. America took all their research papers too. They're like, oh, we're going to just like adopt all this. They, we got a lot of medical information from them actually. I mean, from a- everyone that did it. Any inhumane things. I mean, data is data, unfortunately. But yeah, horrible way to get it. If you guys want to have a bad time, Google Unit 731. Anyway, so this Chinese guy got on the air and he said all this shit. This, I think, to China. Uh, and he talked about all these things. And so a bunch of people at NHK lost their jobs over this, which is stupid because it's all it's all correct. He wasn't being incorrect. Wait, did he mentioned all that? Yeah. Plus more? Just, just about Unit Seven Seven Three One Nanking Massacre, wartime comfort women, and biological and chemical warfare. Okay. Oh. Huh. <laughs> he added in Chinese a statement on the Senkaku Islands. Ah, that kind of sucks. That the uh, blah 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 territory since ancient times. So that's dumb. But the the Japanese like wartime stuff is all right. <laughs> Have you ever met a Japanese person that knows anything about World War Two? Not really. 
They, oh, well, it, there, was, there was that one one time. There was one time where I just wanted to chill and I got subjected to like Oh, a, my God. That history, guy was annoying as shit. I, history lesson. I immediately ejected from that situation. <laughs> right. I was like... <laughs> I was gone. I was like, goodbye. <laughs> uh, just gonna, like a North Korean missile just whoosh, into the Pacific. <laughs> I, I'm going to put that in my, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make that t-shirt like a North Korean <laughs> missile right into the Pacific. Uh, so uh, we'll talk about this with the patrons, but I mistakes were made yesterday. Uh, okay. Tokyo Shibuya, Shibuya, my favorite place in Tokyo. Uh, mm, yeah. One, Shibuya. Two is uh, Shinjuku Nichome. Both fun places. You don't like Nichome because the last time we were there, we almost got into a fight. It's it's fun where it's fun. It's not fun where it's not fun. You know, dude, you, your dick didn't get Shinjuku handshaked. It's good. Yeah, no one Shinjuku handshaked. It's great. Tokyo Shibuya introduces year-round ban on street alcohol consumption. That's it. That's it. Like, if you're in Shibuya, you can't drink on the streets ever again, but it'll probably not be enforced. Because Japanese, they make a bunch of rules. So like, okay, so here's the top comment on Reddit. Just like how they made street uh, to- toting illegal in Kabuki Show. What is touting? What does that mean? Uh, where they have like the guys outside and they're like, hey, hey, come to our bar. Hey, how, what you doing? Oh, uh, the kat- kachi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> illegal in Kabuki Show and did absolutely nothing to enforce it. So there will be absolutely no change. <laughs> so, so they used to do like DJ police back in the day when Japan was fun. Hype up security, you know? So, so this is back before the pandemic. Let me show you guys. So there they are right there. So they would be like on top of like a police car announcing shit. So instead of like people taking this seriously, they called them DJ police. <laughs> Look at that. They're like, wick, 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 wick. So, <laughs> I mean, again, security and entertainment can like mesh together. That would be great. Let's talk about one serious thing before we get to not something that's kind of funny. I'll just read. I'll read. I'll read the title. Okay. Nissan is so screwed, man. What What happened? Well, did, or did they lose their cars? They recall so, something. So there were some so, some higher ups in Nissan, and they looked at themselves in the mirror and realized that their dicks were really small. We're talking smaller than mine, like this big. And they were like, you know why our dicks are so small? Because we have a CEO that is a... What is Gone? Gone was like what race? Italian? <laughs> Middle Eastern? I don't know. Something. <laughs> Something. Something not Japanese. <laughs> I don't know. He looks... Uh, to be fair, Gone does look pretty evil. He, he was Gonable. Well, how do you spell his name? G-O-H-N? G-O-H-N. His documentary is really good on Netflix. That's not his name. Gone CEO. Help yeah. Google, help me. Help me know what I'm saying. Carlos Go G O G H O S N. G H O S N. Gizina. So I mean I'll be I'll be completely honest with you. If if I if I was like if I had to find the villain in a movie and they're like, dude, they're like, is this the villain? I'd be like, yeah, that's the villain, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Surprise reveal. I mean, he looks pretty evil, but he was a really good CEO. And he, he got Nissan, which, by the way, Nissan is my favorite Japanese car. And he was like, he was like we're going to take this company, company out of the dumpster and we're going to make them better. And he was going to like uh, merge them with Renault or something like that. Some French com- car company, who knows? Anyway, so all those Japanese executives in, in Nissan were like, our dicks are so small. We have to do something about this. And so they made up a bunch of bullshit allegations against them and they got the, the Tokyo prosecutors and the police in on it. And they basically fucked over the CEO of Nissan. And so he had to flee the country. Mm-hmm. This was international news. Japan was widely criticized about this. Um, it turns out that Gon probably did nothing wrong. And the Japanese were totally fucking wrong about this. Fuck, the Japanese were wrong. Bad Japan. Bad, bad, bad. Tossers. And tossers. <laughs> masturbators. I don't know. Whatever. And I'm probably one day going to get in trouble for saying all this shit, but whatever. Anyway, so Nissan's fucked because they're a good CEO that, uh, I mean, admittedly does look evil, but their good CEO that was evil 
looks evil, uh, left. And so they went back to their old bullshit ways. And now Nissan failed to make any of their sales goals. Their sales are down across the board in their major markets, which is China and, and the United States. They, ha- they are not innovating at all. The world is going EV and Nissan is well behind. And they're just, lo- they're losing their shit. The only innovation that Nissan has made like the last 10 years is they put LEDs in their logo badge, which is kind of cool. Not going to lie. Do like that. But that's it. Nissan, like all the rental car co- companies that I use, they don't, they all have Toyotas. They don't have Nissans. I barely ever see Nissans on the road anymore. The company's failing. And it's because your little dick executives, I mean, I don't know. They might have big dicks. I don't know. I'm, I'm talking about their energy. This is a metaphor. I have no idea how big their dicks are. It's all metaphor. It's all metaphor. Uh, but their little dick energy caused them to fail as a company. So, <laughs> you guys, which sucks because I really like Nissan as a company, uh, as a car. Let's let's hope they turn around magically, or you know they'll go the way of the dinosaurs. They're gonna gone the way of the dinosaurs. Yeah, gone See, the way. it's See? probably off. It's See? terrible. It's, it's terrible. Great. It's awful. It's awful. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go to our last story today before we go to uh, Patreon video. Japanese woman subdues subdues convenience store subdues convenience store thief with headlock. Credits anime for the technique. Dude, that's awesome. You can learn so much from anime. There is one movie. I hate you. I hate you. There is one movie in anime. You watch so much anime. There's one movie in anime that I would love to pull off, but I don't have the flexibility and or the occasion to do this. But Is this a hentai? No, 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 no. No, that's different. But this this is like a violence one. Every now and then, like people like on Reddit will like pour. There's like r slash world politics. Right. That used to be about world politics. And then they got in trouble for like kind of censoring like the information on the board. So then they took an extreme different turn and they're like, we're not censoring anything. So now have you been there? No, it's just anime porn now. Okay. Wait here, here. What? Watch. Let's just infect my computer. Reddit.com slash R slash world politics. I am over 18. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I fucked up. I, I clicked the wrong thing. Wait. Oh. Oh, I have to log in? Wait. All right, guys. Let's go to my, my actual Reddit account. Reddit.com. And now his account will be full of 2D stuff. <laughs> 2D. Oh, I have to log in. Uh, okay. I'm not going to I'm not gonna log in on my PC. I'll just show you on my phone. World politics is nothing but anime porno because like the, the Redditors who are garbage, just like us, they're like, this is funny. They're not going to police this anymore. World politics. Here we go. It's got 1.2 million members. I can't show this on YouTube, but I'll show it to Ricky. It's just, it's just anime porn. Yep. That's all it is. That is a lot of anime stuff. That's all it is. It says, and plants. This one user is just posting anime porn nonstop. That's all it is. They're having fun. Uh, how do I goodbye? Also, the move I'm talking about that I would love to perform one day. It's called a German suplex, whereas you grab someone from behind around their waist, you hoist them over your head, and you plop. You Isn't plop that just them a into suplex? The no, no, it's just a German suplex. What's the difference between a suplex? I'm not sure. It just makes it funnier. That's German in front of it. Did, have you ever seen the German shelf toilets? Have we talked about this before? Maybe. Look, the world politics banner is titties. Oh, shit. I can't show that. I got to blur that now. (laughs) So anyway, so good on this girl. She completely subdued this guy, this thief, kicked his ass. I guess that's what she did. I don't know. Let's watch it. Yeah, that's what. Is this a girl? Oh, my God. That's That's the woman. Look at her. Wait, I'm going to mute this or we get in trouble. Dude, she got accredited by the police for being awesome. Look at her. Dude, actually, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. No shade. No shade. But that's the face of somebody that you don't want to fuck with right there. Look at that. Dude, she watched anime and she's like, I'm going to take that violence into account and so, perform it. So I got... So uh, should I talk about the patrons? So I got DM'd by, let's just say, a person that wants to hang out that I didn't know. I don't know. And here's my policy on this, guys. If like if you're a dude and you're like, hey, man, you seem like fun. Let's hang out. I'll probably hang out with you. Probably like I mean, like not sp- like one on one, but like I'll be like, yeah, we're all here. You can come hang out and say hello. But if you're a chick 
and you DM me and you're like, hey, let's hang out. That's sus as fuck and I will not hang out with you. What does that mean about me? Uh, what was it? Deeply seated emotional issues. I have, I have deeply seated emotional No, dude, I just don't. Like if a chick DMs you, it's, it's so unnatural for a girl to do that. It just seems like wildly inappropriate. It's just like, I don't know. Okay, with the times, bro. People do it. You're attracted to this Cabacuda girl that I don't want to talk about on on the on the main show. We'll talk about with yeah, the with the times, bro. Anyway, that's been our show. We have a new uh, prime minister. Nobody cares about him. Nissan's failing, and there was a bomb in Miyazaki. <laughs> what has the world come to? Other than that, other than that, the only thing else that we really have to talk about is that the rising tension between Japan and China. There'll probably be war soon. Let's not think about that. Let's just go drink in Shibuya. Yeah. We're going to Fukuoka in two weeks. Three weeks? Three two weeks. weeks. Three weeks. Three? Three? Weeks. Three weeks. Wow. It's going to be fun. Dude, I'm going to bring, bring my shield tomorrow to class, maybe. And like, it's... Oh, God. It's... If you frisbee it, it'll kill somebody. <laughs> I'm serious. It's <laughs> metal. Captain America throw. I was. It, I, I thought it was going to be plastic. And it came. I was like, this is metal. This is a problem. Anyway, that's been our show today, guys. If you uh, want links to all the articles, we don't have them because I removed them from the description. I mean, we used to put them in there, but like mm -hmm. the titles were like, like Japanese teacher rapes 14 year old, then marries her. And it's a, c totally cool because Japan. And then so like YouTube would suppress our video because oh. it had the word rape in it. So I don't put those links anymore. But if you want, if you really want a link, go to Reddit where I get all the links from. <laughs> Good night, Saturday, guys. Uh, there will be a link to our Patreon in the video description. Like and subscribe for more bullshit. We'll see you guys next week. Bye, everybody. Bye.